Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your October read from now to the end of October. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, I'm going to be using the Runic Tarot. With all that being said, let's get it. Where's, what's going on with Pisces? What message do we have for Pisces for October All right, Pisces. So the first thing that I'm seeing, Pisces, I feel like there is someone new coming in. Now, there's something very special about this person. You know, I, I, I feel like you're gonna notice this person right away. There's a very commanding presence with this person, with that King of Swords. You know, I, I feel like Right from the very beginning, you're going to know there's something very special happening, you know, and, and trust your intuition on this Pisces. Pisces have great intuition, you know, and trust it. Because like I said, with this person, it's like when you ever met someone and you knew right away that they're going to, they were going to be important. There's something important that this person brings to the table, you know, something important about this person in regards to you personally you know this person's gonna mean something to you and I and I feel like we've all met that at least one person in our life that had that you know and, and I feel like for a lot of us that person is still an important person in our life but with this person like I said um, right away we notice you know they just take over a room you know there could be a thousand people in the room but you notice them and there's a reason for that. Now, with this person, the first thing that I see is I feel like it's, it's almost like you gravitate to each other. You know, I, I do see a friendship. You know, and I do feel like it is something, like I said, I mean, I, I feel like you already know that this person is going to be important to you. And I feel like it starts off with a friendship, finding it very easy to talk to this person, find it very easy to be around this person, feeling very comfortable in your own skin when you're with this person. You know, almost feeling like it's only you and them sometimes. You know, with that two of cups, you know, there is a bond that starts from the very beginning of this. And, and like I said, that feeling that this person is going to be very, very important to you for a long time to come, trust that because I believe that is right. You know, I believe this person is going to play a very important role in your life, even more important than you may even assume. You know, the universe has plans here. Now, moving forward, one of the things that you'll notice about this person as well is that this person shows up for you. 
you know, this person, you know, it's almost like, it feels like there's nobody else. Like I said before, um, like there's nobody else there. You know, they make you feel very important. They make you feel very safe. You know, they show up for you. You know, we have that nine of cups, um, making you feel emotionally fulfilled. You know, sometimes we feel like we'll never meet that person that makes us feel whole. You know, that never completely understands us. But with this person, it's the complete opposite of that. It's feeling like you are whole. It's feeling like you, you are, are being understood. And like I said, feeling very safe when we have the emperor energy, you know, protecting you. Um... You know, you feel very comfortable, very safe when you're with this person. You know, like nothing bad can happen. You know, and there's also a very nurturing energy of this person. So it's like that... You know, it's like that very... It's almost like that... That big teddy bear type vibe or that mama bear vibe. You know, like... Um, You know, very nurturing when it comes to you. But if anybody were ever to mess with you, they would see a different side than you see. You know, this person is it protects what's important to them. And like I said, this person is... First and foremost, I see this person putting you first. You know, you're very important to them. And, and those who are important to them are protected. But also protect it from yourself as well. Like I said, this is something that shows up for you. In the good and the bad. When you're having a bad day, this person's there for you. You know, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You know, they're not, they, they don't scare easily. You know, this person won't go cold on you when you need them most. That's the opposite vibe I'm getting from this person. This person is there for you and they will continue to be there for you. You know, they found the place that they want to be with that world card. Everything came full circle. You know, they want to be here. They want to be next to you. And like I said, even on the bad days, in the days that you, you're afraid that, you know, they may not show up because no one else had. You know, in your past, I feel like there's been bad days, you know, and, and there's been bad weeks. And nobody really stayed around for that. You know, they never really showed up. But that's not this person. And with that energy and the way they make you feel, you know, trusting this person comes very naturally. Feeling like you can depend on them. And that's going to come very quickly. And I feel like that's something that's really going to cause this to take that next big step. You know, feeling like you're on the same page, feeling like you can you can completely see yourself moving forward with this person. You know, with that chariot. I mean, like I said, someone that, you know, is, is there for you. That's a big deal. For a lot of people, they don't understand that. Having someone that's there for you through thick and thin. Someone that doesn't go cold on you when you need them. You know, someone that answers the call. And this is someone you can depend on when, when, like I said, you know, they will answer that call. And like I said from the beginning, trust your intuition about how you feel about this person right from the very beginning. Because you're not wrong. You know, everything inside you, everything inside them is telling them this is right. And that's where this is heading. You know, everything starts to seem right. The world starts to seem right. Everything starts falling together the way you always wanted it to. Now with this person, like I said, they're very protective. You know, they have that very strong authoritative figure. But they're also emotionally mature. You know, they're looking for their forever person. They're looking for someone to spend the rest of their life with. Someone that they can go all in with. And they would, you know, 
like I said, the moment they saw you, the, they felt the same way you felt for them. They noticed you. They saw you. And I don't just mean they, they see you. They saw you. You know, it's the difference. It's like that, you know, it's like when people say, you know, are you listening compared to did you hear me? It's very subtle, but there's a big difference. You can listen to someone, but not hear them. This person hears you. You know, this person is going to be very honest with you. You know, there's no hidden agendas. There's no, um, there's no games. And another thing too is, it, it, it's not all them bringing something to the table. You're bringing something to the table as well. What you're bringing to the table is they never been able to be open with anyone before. You know, I, I feel like I'm pretty confident in saying that they've never been open with anybody before. They never felt comfortable in their own skin. But with you, you bring everything out of them. And they just like how they feel when they're with you. You know, they, they like that openness. They like to be free. You know, releasing themselves from all those burdens. You, you know, you may do something... They may do something for you. You know, they, they may make you feel a certain way. But don't don't doubt yourself on how you make this person feel. You know, you open them up. You know, not only does this person want you, but they need you. You need each other. And it just so happens that we want each other as well. You know, this family... You're bringing out a side of this person that they never felt like they could share with anybody. You're you're doing a lot for them without even knowing it. You know, there's a huge transformation in this person. You're getting to see the side of them that they've never shown anyone before. And they, that's a lot of the reason why they want to protect it. You know, if you've ever been in a situation where something made you really happy. You know, you want to... You know, you embrace it. You want to keep it. You never want to let that feeling go. And that's how they feel about you. And yes, this is new, but... It, it, I mean, you're bringing out something in this person that they never thought was there. Or at least they never thought they could share. With that moon card, you know, you're bringing out things that they were holding back. Things that were stopping them from being the person that they wanted to be. Finding the person they wanted to find. And it's the beginning of that journey, that fool card. It's the beginning of the tarot deck. You know, like I said, even though this is happening quick, they're not afraid. Now, I get a very soulmate, twin flame type energy. And this just cements that idea in my head that you know that vision that i get um we have new love and the lover's card um yes this starts deep but it only gets deeper this connection is real and we're we're enjoying the ride we're enjoying the company we're enjoying life and i know that sounds really dramatic people are gonna think that's really dramatic like i enjoy life It is hard to enjoy life sometimes. You know, I mean, we can enjoy the little things, but I mean, sometimes we don't have the big things in our life to enjoy. I mean, we you enjoy those little wins, but this is a huge win. You know, this is something that isn't going to be for 24 hours or isn't going to be for seven days or isn't going to be... For a year. This is something that I feel like is going to be forever. You know. And, and each day it's going to feel that much better. Each day. We're going to feel. That much more. Excited. For the next day. You know. It's the build up. We had a long time to build up to this. 
And like I said, I don't, I, it's not like I feel like it's going anywhere. I mean, we have the family card. You know, we had, and we also have the Hereford, the strong union. Like I said, this person is looking for that. You know, they didn't know they were looking for you until they met you. They didn't know what they were looking for until they met you. But you made a lot of things very clear for this person. And like I said, sometimes we don't know what we, what we want until we have it. And now that they have it, they know what they want, and they don't want to lose that. You know, that Ten of Cups, that family card, that Hereford, that strong union. Don't get it twisted. You know, they're going to make you happy, but you're going to make them happy. You know, this is not just the love that you've been waiting for. It's the love that you deserve. I feel like... I feel like you never truly know who you are or never really know who you will be until you meet that right person. You know, I feel like we're all born, I said this before, but I feel like you're all born with a, with half a puzzle. And no matter how many ways we try to put it together, we can never really get the whole picture until you meet that other person, that other person that has that other half. And you put it all together and it makes, the big picture becomes a lot more clear. And like I said, I, I feel like you've both been kind of on the same path. The only difference is, um, you know, there is, they're very similar, uh, very similar, but there is some slight differences. One of the differences I do feel, like I said, is I feel like you're bringing someone to this person that they really didn't know that they could share. You know, they feel like they can share everything with you and they want to. And for you, I feel like you never thought there'd be someone, you know, you know you wanted it. You know what you wanted, but you never thought there'd be someone that could actually give it to you. You know, it's very slight differences, but all in the same outcome. And then we have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. We have some Aries. We have some Gemini, some Aquarius. You know, that's the funny thing about life is that we have to go through a lot of it. You know, we have to go through a lot of it, figure it all out. And sometimes it's hard, you know, and we, we just want to find our person quicker, you know, sooner rather than later. And some people's journeys to, the, to find their person is longer than others. But I feel like the journey is important. You know, but I always feel like you're born in a certain area. You know, you're here and they're there. And then there's that direction, you know. And then there's that point where you meet them. Now, the point between where you start and the point where you meet them is different for everybody. You know, and I said this before as well, is sometimes you meet people and you think this could be the one. Then there's the times when you meet someone and you know that they're there. You know, I, I feel like some people put so much pressure on it. It's coming. You're going to meet the person you're meant to meet. You know, I, I truly believe that. And some people get, you know, get that opportunity earlier than others. But we got to remember everybody's different too. At 20, what you want may not be what you want at 30. You know, I have a very good friend of mine. And, and she said at 20, I, I you know, I, I wanted a lot of things. Then when I hit 30, it changed a little bit of what I was looking for. You know, when I was 20, I wanted a guy with a hot body and a fast car and made a shit ton of money. Then when she was 30, she said, I realized that, you know, I just want a guy who takes care of himself. And that, you know, it wants a real relationship. 
And the difference between 20 and 30 for her was, that's monumental. You go from all these exterior things you wanted, all those monetary things you wanted. And then by the time you're 30, you have it figured out a little better. So if you met the right guy at 20, you may not even realize it if you have that mindset. Some people have the right mindset at 20. But like I said, sometimes our journey is longer because we're not ready for it yet. You know, I, I feel like we're giving what we can handle. And we're not giving any more. Sometimes we get a little bit less. But like I said, some people's journeys are different than others. You know, you may have a friend that met their true love at 15. It happens. But then you may have friends that are 40, 45, 50, 60, 70 years old and still haven't met that person yet. There's no real timeline. There's nothing set in stone that says by the time you're 35, you're going to find the person you're meant to be with. Now, I know a lot of people wish that was true, but like I said, it all depends on when you're ready for it. And I feel like you're ready for this. You've been ready. I mean, it's... Sometimes we meet people during our life and we think that that's it. This is the person. You know, and I feel like it goes both ways as well. When you're 20 and say you met your this person you thought was perfect at 20, they're 20. By the time you're 30, you want something different. Maybe you don't want them anymore. Or maybe you still do, but maybe they don't want you. You know, or maybe vice versa. Maybe at 20, you didn't work out, but at 30, you do because... Now you're both different. You both age well. That's why I always tell people, like, if you feel like you met the person of your dreams and it didn't work out, it doesn't mean it won't. It just means it wasn't ready. You know, it's like when you're cooking. You're cooking a soup. You try the soup. It's not ready yet. Give it another 20 minutes. That type of thing doesn't mean it's not getting there but i'll stop talking be good take care stay safe